Hey Dutch crew, welcome back to the channel, the home of No Nonsense Barbecue videos. We've all heard the saying, everything tastes better with bacon, so now we're going to show you how to make bacon. What I've got here is a 2.1 kilogram store-bought pork loin. Nothing special about it, straight out of the supermarket. To calculate the amount of cure we need, I use this app called I Smoke Hog. All we simply do is put the weight of the meat in. Okay, we've got two kilograms, and there we go. It automatically works out how much salt, sugar, and pink salt. I'll explain pink salt to you. Not to be confused with pink Himalayan salt. Pink curing salt is a mixture of sodium chloride, table salt, and sodium nitrate. It's dyed pink, so it's not confused with normal standard table salt. After we've carefully weighed all our salt, sugars, and pink salt out, all we've got to do now is just mix them together. So in a bowl, just pour the sugar in and the pink salt and mix them all together. Then we're just going to take a vacuum pack and put our port loin in. We're going to pour the mixture in and we'll go 50% down one side and then 50% down the other side. Give it a good massage in. And what I find really important in this is, is get this vacuum packed as soon as possible because the salts do start drawing moisture out and it find it hard to vacuum seal it. So I'm sealing this up now. Make sure all the air is out. And that's it. If you haven't got a vacuum sealer, you can use one of these Ziploc type bags. Put your meat in, put your cure in, immerse it down in water so it uh, pushes all the air out and then Ziploc it shut. All we have to do then is pop it into a fridge for 14 days. Now, every day, you're just going to come in, take it out of the fridge, give it a massage around, make sure any of those juices in there are evenly spread. Just keep uh, massaging it, then put it back in the fridge, turning it 180 degrees. So, i.e., this is going the fat side down. Going to come back in the day after, day two, this is. Give it another good massage. All you're doing is just kind of moving this. Uh, there's a bit of brine in there now. Just moving it around so we took yours equally. Put it back in, shut the fridge. Repeat this for the next 12 days. On the 15th day, it's ready. What you've got to remember is now, you can't over cure bacon, but you can under cure it. All we need to do now is just open the back pack up, get the bacon out. There will be some juices in here, so uh, do be careful. Look at that. That's cured bacon. All we need to do now is get it over to the sink and run it under some cold water. And wash all that cure off. Once we've washed it, all you need to do is pat it down with some kitchen towel, make sure it's all dry. So after all that hard work, it's now time to see what we've got. I'm cutting some big thick slices of this bacon. Look at that, you can tell it's cured by the colour. We'll cut three more big thick slices of this and then I think we ought to Get it on the griddle, get it cooked, and have a taste. The griddle's warmed up, it's time to cook some bacon. Straight onto the blackstone griddle and listen to that sizzle. A couple of minutes, and we'll give it a turn. Bring some nice colour on the bacon already. A 
There's nothing more satisfying than listening to bacon sizzling on a griddle. Just going to pull this bacon forward now, and we've just got some thick sliced white bread. We're going to drop it on, mop up some of those bacon uh, juices. Pull this other bit round, let's get the juices off there. Just mop them up. We'll leave this bread for about a minute. There we are. We'll turn it over. We'll get the bacon on. Oh, look at the colour of that bacon. That's homemade bacon at its finest. Get the lid on. Get it off the griddle. And it's time to tuck in. There we have it, Dutch crew. That's how to make bacon. Now, I think we ought to have a taste. No words needed.